morning. I have been kind of like a homebody this morning. I have been running around the house, just like organizing stuff, trying to like put stuff out in the storage shed. I'm decluttering and then I want to clean clean. So that's what I've been working on because we have um, friends staying with us, not this weekend, but next weekend or not next weekend, but the following weekends. But we're also having a cookout and it's the first time like hosting people at our house. And so I want to get the house like in better shape decor wise and yeah like the clutter and stuff like that so i'm trying to get that under control but then i went and grabbed a coffee because i was kind of running on nothing so i went and grabbed a coffee and a breakfast sandwich from starbucks and then i came home and um put my nails on because i was cleaning out my suitcases and i realized i was supposed to do my nails when i was in charlotte and i never did it so i had all my stuff in there these were supposed to be my valentine's day nails but it's not valentine's day anymore but they're still super Cute. I don't know if you can see with the light, but they have, hold on, let me see if I go over here. They have little hearts on them, on some of them. And I kind of messed up the design. I didn't do the exact same pattern on both hands, but I think it's cute anyway. But I think I like this hand better with like the two tan ones than the two light hearts. And then this is a plain light color. I think they're super cute. So did my nails just because I was feeling ugly. I'm not gonna lie. I just wanted to feel more feminine or something so that's why i wanted to do my nails and then yeah trying to get the house together i don't know what we're gonna do today i really want to go on a nice long walk but i want to do it somewhere new like we go and we do like the river walk downtown all the time we walk on bayshore all the time i would rather walk somewhere else so i'm wondering if i can convince jared to drive into st pete and walk like downtown st pete or something just to like get some steps in and stuff and i like when we go on walks because we have like our deep talks whenever we walk i feel like i'm gonna continue cleaning up and then we'll see when jared gets home he had flag football this morning like super early and then he went to the gym afterwards because he said he didn't really feel like he got a good workout in so maybe he'll be into going on a walk so fingers crossed that i can talk him into it it might be easier to go today than uh tomorrow yeah, that's what, because you said already, oh, it's pretty. Two degrees, be hot as shit. Not there. This is so tropical. I, feel like be I tried to let you go outside, you didn't want to go out. I feel like it'd be easier to go <laughs> today than tomorrow. I don't think I have a big thing about butter I'll have to order on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So I don't like that other seasoning that they got. Mm -hmm. What was that other shit that you bought? I mean, I'm out actually, I don't know. whatever it was. It was like, I forget the brand. The Wait, the seasoning or the sauce? The seasoning. Weber dry rub. Yeah, this isn't not it. Could you like combine it with the the other one? This I don't even know why I still have this. Throw it away then. It takes up so much space. I've had this. Takes up so I've much had this space. Since I was in college. Ew! <laughs> Throw it away. I mean, I don't make steak that often. Well, I do. I don't use this. Then it's uh, is it expired? Does it say? It seems like it does expire. It just takes up so much room in the spice cabinet. That's why I'm like, it can go. On the bottom, maybe. Seasoning can't expire. Right? Yes, it can. Everything that you eat has to have an expiration date it does on it. Does not have to have an expiration. Yes, it does. Yet. Wait, it says right here. Where? Oh, never mind. You have to peel it. Look. That's for it's... recipes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how are they going? How are they going to give you a recipe and all they give you is seasoning? Do they put se recipes on the back of salt too. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Just throw it away. Dumb show. <laughs> Do you want to go for a walk today? Now? Mm -hmm. Whenever. Before I shower? Up to you. If I wanted to go on like a long walk. I need to eat something. Yeah. Mm. Eat those leftovers. <laughs> Where's Costco? Far. Wait, but really, where'd you find these from? This little piece of chicken. Okay, my grand plans to get Jared to go on a walk with me were thwarted. So I am doing a little change of programming. We're gonna go have our outside day tomorrow, but we ran to Costco, got that done because we're having a cookout. We wanted to go ahead and get the stuff so we don't have to worry about it next week. And then now I really want to paint our outdoor furniture. I've had the paint for forever. I just haven't done it. So I need a brush. So I'm just gonna run into the Dollar Tree real quick. And then I also want a little hanging thing to go on the back of our bedroom door to hang like our bathrobes and stuff so that way that because our bathroom is so small even having that stuff hanging on the back of the door like just freaks me out so like i just want to get another hang one for the bedroom door so we can do our bathrobes in the bedroom which 
is where we end up putting them on anyway. So yeah, I think I might run into Marshalls and do that. I also want to run into Michaels. So I'm at this shopping center where that has everything and we'll see what we can find. There's this little pokey acai bowl place by my house that I've been wanting to try for the longest. And it's like 3.45, we're not hungry, hungry, but like I need a little something, you know? So I'm trying it for the first time, I'm excited. But it's cute, it's like a little building and you, it's only a drive-through. So like you go on one side of the building and order obviously and then you like pull around the other side to pick it up so yeah waiting for it this looks fresh finished the chair and i think it looks really good i'm working on the table it's still spotty i still have to do it over here and everything i was just taking a little break but I think that we're getting somewhere. But yeah, I want to just kind of zhuzh up the whole courtyard situation. Whenever we have people over, we'll probably move the grill out to the side so that way the space is more open. And hopefully we can move these trash cans out too. Depends on the timing. Or maybe I can like hide. I don't know. I wish that there was like a little, because there's like the nook for this one, which is nice. I wish there was a different space to push that one, but it's not that big of a deal because people will be using the trash anyway, but this will be nice and black. The other chair is out front because I've been sitting out front to do my planner in the morning, um, but I'll bring that over here. This will be like more open for people to hang out, but yeah, I want to get little string lights or something. I don't know if I want to do string lights or if I can find something that I like better, but I want to do something with light out here, especially because it doesn't get it's not very bright out here like kind of wish we had a light on the top of this as well as over here but we just have this one so yeah i want to have some light out here maybe even something in the tree would be cute i don't know we'll figure it out grab the other chair from out front and it's just like total difference so much better i'm so excited <laughs> I tried the heatless curls again and it's a little better but it's still not great because my hair is just frizzy but that's my fault that's on me i think i brushed through them too much in the effort in effort to make them fall but you know that's just besides the point right now i have a very grateful heart this morning even though my hair doesn't look good because it's just stunning like i don't know how to describe it like it's 9 40 right now and i've been running around since like eight or so and it's just stunning like i don't know the early morning light something about it and like when it's a little like in the morning when the humidity is like a little lower and it's just so ugh, it's just amazing i can't yeah i can't get over it but anyways i am headed to go get my second round of laser laser hair removal if you didn't see that um so i'm not excited because it's gonna hurt obviously but i feel better prepared for it this time at least i know what's going on i know where to park and all that because last time i went it was just a hot mess because I had no idea what was going on. Hold on, maybe my hair isn't that bad. It just needs to like chill a little bit. Like, ay -ay -ay. I started it lower and I did it the way where you like take from the front and the back. Uh, I'm just gonna not gonna make this light. So I thought that it would be more like easy breezy beautiful, but it's giving, like I curled it with a curling iron, but it's fine, especially this piece. How low? especially this piece but today is president's day so i have off of work jared of course has to work we've gone over this like every single holiday that i get he doesn't get which is depressing but at the same time like it's fun to have a day to myself to do literally like whatever i want because i actually thrive during these days like i feel like i can be the most myself especially when it's like during the week i don't know like a weekend is still like hectic because you have such a finite amount of time, but a Monday off is really just amazing. So I have this appointment. I should be done with that by 11, the latest. I really want to go look for a full length mirror for the guest room because we do have guests coming and I feel like it would just be easier to have a regular full length mirror in that room. So I kind of want to look for that. I might even just go to Ikea and see if they have them, their like standard one in stock and just like bite the bullet because like whatever. So we'll see what the deal is with that. And then I would love to go thrifting and look for wedding decor stuff. Since I went the first time, I have like all new inspo and I feel like this is gonna be more like cement, <laughs> like what I want, not cement. Like it's more cemented in my head, um, the idea and I'm more, um, more clear on the vision now. 
like at first I was just like a little all over the place because I was like trying to lean vintage but like still be modern and like I, I just had to cut out like the vintage aspect of it and I can still thrift for stuff and I can still use cute details for like our sweetheart table and stuff like that so like for example if you saw those like cherub candlesticks that I was obsessed with I'm still obsessed with those I don't want to have gold like throughout the space but I do still like those and perhaps we'll use them on the sweetheart table because I think that they're just like super cute. I see that table being like a little bit more ornate, a little bit more like character to it. Whereas like the regular tables I see being like very clean, minimal, lots of glass. Okay, done with that. There's a thrift store I have saved in my maps that I wanted to check out. So that's like only five minutes away. So I'm gonna go there. And then as soon as it gets like warm enough out, I'm going to go to the pool because I just need some sun. I just, it just needs to happen. So this is the thrift store over here. It was super cute. It's just pretty small. They didn't have a bunch of furniture. They had like a couple of things. And the stuff that they had was actually really nice. And it was a good price, but I'm looking for some very specific items. I said it before, I'm looking for stuff for wedding stuff. So I was looking at like glassware and things, but I'm also looking for, my hair's so frizzy, I can't. I'm looking for a outdoor chair for the front so that there's just like somewhere to sit out there. Oh, 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 my nail. And then I'm also looking for a full length mirror. So they didn't have either of those items. And I didn't want to dilly dally. I'm just going to hit this Salvation Army. I, I don't know if it's the one that I went to before or not, but we'll see when we get there. Of course, this is out here and this is perfect, but is it sold? Patio chair, 35. Okay. Is it available or is it not available? I can't even see what this says. Do not remove. Huh, I don't know. We'll have to ask. This is the only thing really standing out to me, this like cake tray. But my concern is that like, is this big enough, you know? But this, how stunning would this be for the cake? It's 25 bucks, which I feel like is a decent price. Um, I don't know, what do we think? Okay, so I did end up getting this little outdoor situation, which it doesn't fit perfect, like the little, Taking up a lot of space, like this, mostly the side table, but I think that it works for what I need for when I sit out here and do my journal and planner and stuff in the morning. And then I can like use this as a footrest if I want to. So um, I think that was pretty good. I wish that it was, I found a lighter color because this is gonna get really hot because it gets like direct sun all day, but it'll be fine. But I did end up getting that cake stand from that last thrift place because I started to look some up on um, on Amazon and stuff just to like get price comparisons and they were going more towards like the 40 range on Amazon and I was like I might as well just get this because I can also just have it in my like serving collection but yeah it's a good price so and it's really heavy and sturdy so I got that and then I also just got two little random classic martini glasses because I have been really into espresso martinis as everyone has and I want to be able to make one at home and have it in a martini glass if I so please. So I've got these. They were like $1.20, $1.29. So that was my little thrifting haul, which is not much, but it's kind of like bigger items. I couldn't find any glass candlestick holders that I liked, which was kind of disappointing, especially like, well, and for the price. So like they had some nice ones, but they're like $10 and like, these are things that I'm going to probably like sell in bulk after the wedding. So I don't want to invest like a ton into them. Like the re reason why I'm thrifting for those little things, like unless they have a lot of character and are really unique, like I'm not going to pay more than like a few dollars for them. So especially if they're like small and dinky and all the ones I saw were very short. And honestly, there are ones from the dollar store that look exactly, let me go show you the ones from the dollar store. Because my goal in the next couple of weeks is to be able to do like a mock, tablescape so I can get an idea of like what exact pieces 
I need to get and how many. So if I do like one six foot table and see like how much I need to make it look full, then I can like estimate how much I need for the entire event, right? So Dollar Store has these or Dollar Tree has these little ones for $1.25, which these look super nice and like pretty high quality. Um, like they're not thin, they're not dinky. Um, and they're cute, right? Like they're just basic and they're short. So what I want to do is be able to buy a bunch of these and I can probably buy them online because uh, Dollar Store or Dollar Tree has like e-com. So I can probably buy bulk online. Hi. Oh man. Anyways, so these tea lights, they have four, four dollar. These are very basic, but like that's all you need is for them to be basic. So I'm going to test those out. So I got two of these. And then I also have the last ones that I had already thrifted that are taller. So I can already start to see like the variants. And then I just grabbed some tea lights because I don't actually have any of these. These are like scented. I wouldn't use these, especially like six for $1.25 is not that great of a deal for tea lights. I feel like I could get like a hundred for like 20 something. So we'll see about that. But yeah, I want to do like a mock tablescape and see what the do, like buy flowers and everything. So I can see what it all looks like and make sure that that's what I want. 12, 18, I'm gonna eat something little and then go to the pool. Hi, I was, oh, not my makeup being all <laughs> smudged. I was just out there for like an hour and I did a thing. So you know how I was looking for a full length mirror today at the thrift stores and wasn't seeing like anything. So I was like, okay, like I just need to get something in there because I'm, I've been so impatient. I've been like wanting this since we moved in because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I had a second full length mirror um, in the old house, but literally the weekend that we got engaged, it was like such a weird freak thing. But the weekend that we got engaged, we had a brunch with family like the next day, like on the Sunday. And while we were doing that, Luca was like upstairs playing. Whenever he plays with his toys, he a lot of the time will like throw them like push them behind furniture and stuff so like underneath the couch and then in this case it had gone behind the mirror and so he was trying to get in the back and basically like made the mirror fall and it shattered into a million pieces so yeah we don't have that mirror anymore because of that and so we always had a second one and it's been annoying me that we don't have one now all that to say i just like was over it and so i went to ikea and just ordered like the basic one with the black frame and we're gonna go get it because I ordered it for pickup and it's ready. So I'm gonna get dressed, go pick that up. I might also stop at Home Goods. I just like, I've been in the house so much. I've been, like had a second to like think and you can hear, if you can hear the bird noises, it's Luca's cat TV was on while I was at the pool. I've gotten a chance to think and be like, okay, listen, wait, I want to do stuff around the house. And like, now I'm aware of the things that I want to fix up and like plus up and everything. So, especially since we're having people over for pretty much the first time. And so I just want stuff to be together. By the way, the outdoor set looks so good. I think I can get away without doing another coat, which is great because I was able to use just that one can. The only issue, like this one is a little bit bad. Like if you can see that patch right there, like right, I can't see right there. <laughs> um, and then the underneath isn't done, but I mean, honestly, who cares? Like who's seeing the underneath of the table? I headed to Ikea. I just like cleaned up a little bit. I didn't shower, oh my God. I didn't shower because I'm probably gonna go to Heart Hot Works tonight. So I'm gonna have to shower tonight anyway. So I just like cleaned up a little bit. And I want to think I'm gonna go to Home Goods first because on the like off chance that I find a mirror that I like better at Home Goods. Cause I've been looking in there like every, like once a month I just pop in and see what they have. And I haven't really seen anything that's like worth the price. Cause they have like, there's stuff that's like unique and cool. It's like over $300. And I'm just like, this is probably isn't like a forever piece for me. Like, cause we're not in our, like a home like that yet. If I see something decent in home goods I like, then I might cancel the Ikea order or like return it or whatever before I even pick it up. But I also want to see if there's like a little drawer for underneath my, <laughs> for underneath my, sorry, a car was backing out of the driveway onto the main road, um, for underneath my vanity. Cause I could use like a little skinny, just like a very slim, small set of like plastic drawers there. And I swear I saw so much stuff like that right before we moved. And I just didn't realize I was going to need it. Cause I didn't even know I had this vanity space until we moved in. The, yeah. 
we just didn't even see this house basically before we moved in. It, we, it was sight unseen. It was like love is blind type shit. So it would be so fun for my future studio to have like this, like filled with all like pens and pencils and stuff. It'd be so cute. These are also my favorite brand of notebooks, the Moleskin ones. I've been using them since college and they're the best. So if you ever see these, this is like the best price you'll ever get for them. Wait, I love, how fun is this chair? Let me see if it's comfy. Oh yeah. That's so cute and fun. I wish it was a different material, like a linen or something, but super cute. I mean, this is kind of, what I'm talking about, like one of these little dinky things, but like, I don't like that color. I don't see another one, but that's like the idea. Like I just need a little thing like this for like extra skincare, makeup stuff to go underneath my vanity. Yep, nope. Cause these are all short. Mm. These are all, that's all they have. Mm. That's all they have. None of them are cute. <sighs> I could also be into a deck, like a small mirror like this for um, the kitchen. But I don't really, this is okay. I don't know, like I don't know what style I want because that kitchen is, like I hate our kitchen. So I'm not really into I'm not really sure what I want. This is kind of cute, but it's too small. I literally saw the top of this poking out and I was like, wait, that looks like Italy. Cause I just saw this like orange umbrella in the blue water. And I read the tag and it literally talks about how he went to the Amalfi Coast. So that's probably what this is. And I can tell. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever shown this shopping center, but it has everything in here. Like everything you need. You could be happy, you should be happy, as long as you're here. So it's moments like this when I miss the Jeep because this thing barely fits in my car and I obviously can't see at the back. So definitely going straight home and hopefully avoiding the highway if possible because I hate when I can't check my blind spot properly. Uh, these days, I don't really care for that into conversation. No, no, these days. I don't care for competition, you're the one that's racing no, I, I don't really wanna talk about what I got coming out next I'm not showing up to one up just to show up in front of your friends I don't really wanna meet you Okay, wait, it looks so good Um, I love how, let me zoom out I love how the reflection is like the highest Cause this, all of our rooms, if you don't know, are like asymmetrical Where like, you can see the best here, but like like the ceiling is actually really high, but only on one side of the room. So it's like more of like an eight foot ceiling over here, but it gets up to like maybe 12 over here. So that's the side that's reflected in the mirror with it over here. And I just love that just because it makes it feel like way more open and everything. Once I get a better duvet situation for this, that'll also look better. Um, so yeah, wait, this is great. And you can even see Luca's litter box is like over there but you can't really see it if you stand in the middle. So this looks great. I just wish it was brighter in here, but what can you do? Ignore the laundry situation, but watching Selling Tampa, boss ass bitch. This is the also the woman they mentioned on the show, but she's getting married to Ocho Cinco. And um, we just listened to a podcast that he was on. He was talking about her and their like love story. And it's actually like, it's crazy, but it's cute because he's crazy, but.